Anti-aliasing and other post-process effects is what make your skin shine, but looks bad on your media plate. Unfortunately, you can't disable it per material, so you have to find out another way to get rid of it. This is the method I currently use in production. It involves few steps and is relatively easy to set up. Let's get started. The first step is to go to your project settings Search for Stencil. Go to Custom Depth Stencil Pass and select Enable with Stencil. And now, if your material is translucent, open the Material Editor and in the Details panel, search for Velocity and enable Output Velocity. Then search for Depth and enable Allo Custom Depth Rights. Now we must choose the actor we wish to exclude from the post-process pass. To do so, select the actor, search for Depth, enable Render Custom Depth Pass, and in the Custom Depth value, type 1. To visualize the stencil buffer, search for Buffer Visualization and select Custom Stencil. Now create a new post-process material. In the Details panel, search for post-process and select Before Translucency as Blendable Location and Enable Output Alpha. Now we need to set up the post-process material that is used to calculate the depth of the scene relatively to the media plate. So the actor in front or behind the plate will be rendered properly. For this node setup, please follow along the video. Once your material is ready, select the post-process volume on your scene, search for Array and apply your post-process material. Now go to the Composer tab and create a new composition. Then add a CG layer. And then another one, and call it whatever makes sense to you. Just keep in mind that this will be the one without post-process effect. To do so, please select the Scene Capture component 2D. Scroll down to Capture Source and select Scene Color HDR. Let's make a composer material for this to work.
Create two texture sample parameter 2D and name it as your CG layer. Now we must exclude the alpha channel from the first one. Now add an over node and connect your layers. The CG layer without post-process effect will be the one at the bottom. Then use the alpha channel from the first layer as a mask for the over node. And finally connect this node to the output. The last step is to configure your composition as you normally do. For this example, I'll set my output to the viewport. Now say a prayer for the gods of virtual production and press play. On the left is the media plate without post-process effect. It's crisp and there is no ghosting effect and it can also appear behind front objects without any other configurations. This method also works for non-chroma key materials, such as virtual monitors. If you want to add more than one media plate, just select the actor, go to the details panel and enable render custom depth pass and add a value of one. A little tip, if you want some sort of debug from your node setup that can be different from mine, you can replace one of the layers with a flat color, so you can see the mask effect going on. Okay, that's all. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. There may be other methods to achieve this effect, but I found this one simple, effective and easy to use. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao, ciao!